Hello everyone, welcome back to Bubble Gamers, we're here continuing our playthrough of Persona 5. Here we are. In um, our room. Yeah, let me check my message real quick. Is it anything? I've been busy with all these new patients ever since that girl and her father came in. And this is all your fault. So you better take responsibility to help me out. Got it? The thing is ready for you, so. Thank you, dear. This is my favourite handkerchief. Uh -huh. It was right in front of me, so. Oh my, you're shy, why aren't you? Oh. I'm not shy. My neighbor speaks highly of you. She says your medicines are better than those at the big hospitals. It's very reassuring to have such a distinguished doctor right there. Here, yeah, it's out. I'll see you again soon. Uh. What the heck? Thanks to you. The thought of talk going around town about me started by that girl and her dad. Apparently, they've been telling everyone that I can make all these amazing businesses and remedies. So, the number of patients I've seen has increased dramatically. I don't know what some of these people are thinking, though. I've had lots of crazy requests. Like yesterday, a patient requested a sweet spelling compress. And the other day, I had a request for the cold buster, a drug that deserves a Nobel Prize. Other quests have included the hair, skin tonics. I even had to do a consultation about a cat. <laughs> it's not like I'm some kind of genius doctor. Stop that. Nope. This all interfering with this all interfering with my development. I'm only interested to complete my new drug. That's my role as a plague and I'm not suited for all this other stuff. What? Really? Why are you entitled to your opinion? But I tell Doctor, huh? That sort of that stuff. Profession must have been possible for me at one time right now. Oh yeah, about those clinical trials. With so many new patients, it's taking longer to add on the data, so I need to catch up. This is a bit of a strong side, but I'm sure you're a bit okay. Oh, phone. You have nothing where it is. So what you want to do about our next big target? Well, yeah, sudden. Well, after what that guy said, sitting around doing nothing just pisses me off. You talk about a catchy coon, right? I know how you feel. Ah, uh, that high school detective. He'd have to shut up if we changed you know, that persona's heart. Person's heart, sorry, persona. Yeah. Uh, perhaps. Definitely. But he didn't mention that the police are starting to mobilise. Either way, I don't think we should leave a catchy coon be. It's the perfect time to meet and discuss what a strategy it should be going forward. Let's just gather at the hideout tomorrow. Hey. What are we going to do about Kawakami did decide not to call it after all? Hey. I have some great info for you. Um. It's about the next type of the Fat and Thieves. This one's massive. Well, of course, we've got a huge saga on our hands. This is the guy, a handsome young actor who's been rapidly gaining popularity lately. He's a great at acting and so their conversation skills. He's even been on, in all sorts of commercials. If you manage to change his heart, everyone will have to start paying attention to the fat thieves. He's got to be doing some shady stuff, I just know it. And no, I'm not saying that any out of jealousy. I heard a rumour that's a famous idol throwing to his clutches. You need to act on behalf of fans. I am calm. I think about it from my calm standpoint. I believe you guys get the benefit from chilling his heart. I mean, this would be the best publicity possible for you guys. What do you think? Well, pretty good tech this heart under our amazing producer. Just you wait, I'm going to put the fat things on the map. You'll practically be swimming in requests. Oh, oh god, you haven't gone home yet. What? Oh fuck. Listen. Ninja Musan is looking for you. Could you head to the student council home room right away? She says there's no report of the lost items, so she wants you to stop there some paperwork. <sighs> it 
is a class post at the Trinity Academy. The student classroom is an alert firm floor next to the library. Got it. Well, I am I was for Stuart, I know she's the principal's favourite or whatever. Do you have to go? Hey. Ninja is the girl who keeps following you around, right? What could she want? Ah, earlier than expected. Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Go ahead. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. That idiot! As loud as always. But his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What the, what the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto, on Takamaki, and you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are 
you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they can prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then... we have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes. It's best we agree, at least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah, my bad. So, we doing this? All right, we're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? Well, what about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? I'm so effing pissed. Do we just gotta do what she says? Considering what has happened, it seems we have no other choice. I wonder whose heart the student council president will want us to change. Don't matter to me. But there might be a reason about our new who she picks, right? I'm curious myself. She mentioned that she wants us to prove our justice, did she not? Yeah, she definitely did. Then there must be some reasoning behind her choice. Please contact me immediately if you find anything out. I don't go picking any fights, okay? Do you understand it, Ryuji? Why are you thinking me out? I ain't dumb. You are. <laughs> I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Mafia?! What are you talking about?! That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit! It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's their boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous phantom thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct, when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? Something witty. <laughs> that goes to details. Why are you being so serious? <laughs> Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. Council President from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? That's not the issue here. Why would Makoto... Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. I'm so
so mad. The mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We are in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for... Oh, right! That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. Hey. Could I have a moment? Well, it's either yearning to see the you or you. So if you're heading home, homeward, I'll accompany you. Indeed. As for Yuri, it seems to suit this cafe quite well. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. <sighs> Akira, I feel I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. To put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please listen to what I must say. Hmm. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motives of te or techniques. Motifs. However, those struggles came to pass the education. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call the slump. To tell the truth. Are you aware that I'm attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such, such confetted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Well, well, I lot to lose my scholarship. I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the early earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I decide when I decide it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the illustrious allure of the Sayuri in my own work. Yet what reasons do I have now holding on to my scholarship, keeping a roof over my head? What worldly desires are all, about, all that spur my brush to move? An insulting work reflects such a purity of mind. To be honest, I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. My apologies, it seems I've got somewhat carried away there, but I simply cannot escape, except this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I'm so upset with my own indecision, such vague ambition is in ex essence in sin of sorts. I fucked that up. In essence, a sin of sorts. <laughs> Though I suppose that my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. I only hmm. wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Akira, please look over there at Suyuri. Her incandescent figure, alluring gaze, that is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? Is it surely because the painter behind the work dif differs? Because the soul differs? But if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What then is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty I must understand? 
To be perfectly frank though, I'm unsure of how to do so. Akira, would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought a profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me close to the truth. I am in your debt. You would. Wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work, but I cannot hide forever in purity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now, my curfew approaches. See you. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. I walked you to get to the station. Every time I see the word incandescent, I think of Solaire. Yeah. Does that is that open his confidant now? Yep. I thought rain, so. Uh, I hate the rain, it always brings me down. So I checked online, people talk about it all over. And now in my expert opinion, the dog of class two D is guilty. Who's that? Do you mean Yo, how do you say that first word? The door lighter. Hmm. There's a bunch of ways you could pronounce that. Is that I as well? It could be I. Ida. Ed. I oh, know. Of class D is guilty. You mean? Not Lida. Nah. You mean something couldn't find our class? <laughs> I don't know why you say that. Wait, start at the beginning. What's he guilty of? Suppose he's been spending money left and right, and recently said he's cause of some great part-time job he got. I see that's that's may very well be worth looking into. Right. Can you try asking him about it, Aunt? I don't think it'd be cause to find a girl. In that case, yeah, I don't mind giving it a try. Although I already talked to Lida Kun before. I'll be counting you to back me up if something happens to Kira. Thanks, that's a huge help. I'm hoping for some great things this time for Takem Takeme <laughs> Takamaki Sons, world class, wonderful acting. Shut it. I hope this will get us e even marginally closer to their so called boss. I leave this little to you too, and I have high hopes for your actors as well, Art. You're both missing the point. Is it true that this guy's guilty? Well, we need to dig up some dirt first thing Let's in the morning. Do it. So, should we continue or should we stop? Yeah, continue. Yeah, man, we'll continue. Do I have to go to bed now? Yep. Alright. I like it. Did I just run into it again? Or did I miss it? Oh, I missed it. Alright, cool. Let's go Wait, to get our one. Okay, yeah, cool. Wait. Maybe you can actually do something. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. I can't talk to anyone, man. We can call Kawakami if you want. Oh, yeah. Oh! Wait, boy, if you use this, you won't leave proof of your core history. It's all for the good of that of these, right? Hi! <laughs> this is Becky. Oh, wait, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd be a fantastic game with the press fee included, you know. Is that okay with you? Yeah. You've got plenty of money. Oh, okay. I head over right away then. And then Shiji was like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, he's gone by this point, I'm pretty sure. Oh, It's a good to see his reaction. So, this is your room, huh? Hmm. How do I put this? Uh, never mind. So, what kind of kid are you? The way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida, I'd say that you're earnest and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? <laughs> Both amazing choices. Yeah. I see. Oh, that's right. You have a criminal record. Okay, then how about this? I'll let you skip class a few times. It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? However, I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. And in exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. 
sound good? Then it's a deal. I made a deal with Kawa, Kawakami. Kawakami. Yeah, Kawakami. I said that in Kawakami. Kawakami. <laughs> Kawakami. <laughs> Kawakami. Oh, <laughs> Turned into a duck halfway through. She has the best, well, one of the best final uh, confidant abilities. Oh. To think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. What do you have to say to that? I am that. It shall become the with the birth of the temperance persona. I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. I like you to perform various activities of Cloud Karma's class. Called Slack Off. <laughs> you do right. fuck all, yeah. <laughs> uh, what am I doing here with one of my students? Well, I guess I should get going. Oh, please request me if you need any help with your housework, okay? We know each other's secret, and it would really put my mind at ease. Besides, I'm, uh, I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so I don't get requested that often. I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. Just think about it, okay? Thank you for using our service! The rumors are pretty terrible. Do you think all that blackmail stuff is insane? I didn't think it had anything to do with me, but they are. You don't think this in my class. I know all about that. These guys supposedly come asking if you want an easy, high paying job. But then if you say yes, you can you get dragged into some real shady stuff. The teacher or student council president do something about it though, people are really worried. Oh you talk about that posting, I wonder if she was serious about it. Heard you knew about Kamashida and the sexual harassment. She probably won't be too much help. Talk about the mafia boss. Why is boss. everyone assuming that she knew? I uh, talk about the mafia boss, right? Yeah. Yeah. I bet the guy walked up to him shading and they still took the job. That little guy's here. I try and ask him about it. Leave it to me. That level of motivation actually makes me a little more nervous. In any case, that'll stay if you don't know anything. Like, it just seems strange to me that everyone's assuming Makoto knew. Hey! Ninja Bakun, what is going on here? Apparently, the damage done by this so called mafia has even reached our student body. Well, I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from the guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy if, if it weren't to me discovered. There's a far issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? Um. I'm doing the best I can. And I can, I can trust you. You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who is reliable around it. Don't let me down. For what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school, do you understand? I do, please just give me a little more time. 